Let's try this again. Now there's a method to my madness uh, why I am uh, flying in instead of just going straight to the show and tell on the Hymalymph capital vessel because I figure one of the things that uh, some people may have some issue with is the fact that the cockpit is actually far up so you, in this case I should be parked on the pad fairly nicely but from the cockpit it looked like I was on top uh, literally on top of that uh, uh, little hut at the end of the pad but in reality I'm actually quite a ways back and probably could have come further forward on parking my capital vessel to the point that I couldn't even see that uh, hut. Okay. So now we'll get our uh, tour here. Let's turn off the uh, jets here and creative and stuff. Uh, stuff. A little uh, before I leave the cockpit, I am going to show you a little feature up here. Um, it's not as fancy as many people do uh, stuff, but I have uh, built into here. This is a uh, this capital vessel has a drive-through hangar. What I'm about to show you will not show you which door is open but it will show you if one of the doors is open according to signal logic uh stuff if you know someone manually clicks with their uh with the uh f key to just on the doors on the ramps and stuff i it will not catch that and don't have some sort of fancy uh um uh what is, oh, come on, scripting. I don't have any fancy scripting in here. This is just simply built into the signal logic uh, stuff. So this is not dependent on scripts. It's just uh, simply part of the signal logic of this vessel that, uh, you know, records, the, you know, shows the status with the door open or that the both doors are closed, okay? Here, this is uh, this is intentionally on a the engineering door switch. If I were to click this here, that actually this one up there is also on that uh, stuff. In the case, this is high. The detector is up there, as well as the uh, LCDs uh, projectors that project the the status. So one projector is on uh, to show that the doors are closed in the uh, uh, if it was the other way around it flips the status and so that projector will be off and then the other one will be on to show that the door uh, door is open and stuff so I just have them on this switch to prevent this from automatically open so that you don't uh, if you're not careless because uh, the uh, you know, granted there would probably be enough space here that you wouldn't get roasted by the thrust that theoretically should be there eventually um, but it's just a engineering space. Uh, this uh, here would you put uh, CPU upgrades here. The other side already has the core and you could put additional CPU upgrade there as well. Okay and uh, we have uh, some bedrooms with facilities and the mirror on the other side. Our uh, medic station and then our a couple additional here stuff and then we have a lounge with a, a food processor a couple more are going on here so I'm not sure what's going on with my creative ga uh, game for some reason some of the doors will open but then won't close but other ones behave finally uh, just fine opening and closing the way they should a uh, couple more. So we actually have the full medical suite here at Tier 1 on this uh, vessel. Uh, stuff. And uh, stuff. This is our main engineering. There are uh, spaces to upgrade here, which I may show later, because uh, I intend to show upgrading this vessel to Tier, all the way up to Tier 3. Uh, stuff. Then uh, here is our main drive-through hangar. Uh, 
Part of me feels bad about losing some of the uh, potential parking space to have this uh, set up here at the uh, front and back, but it does have some advantages that uh, <coughs> it maintains the airtight seal while giving the lamp ramps uh, coming back here a little bit so that uh, you know I have a better chance of, depending on the shape and scale of your HVs, clearing these little obstructions on the front of the or back because it's a, it's identical front and back uh, for that uh, stuff so if I move outside of the sensor it should automatically close I will show you quickly here there is uh, you from the main control uh, console you can control these doors there is also if you shut off the auto hanger doors it is now a manual process whether using this switch here or using the switch in the console. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's uh Turn on the jetpack and creative and give you a little view of the outside of the vessel. A little tour. As I said the, the doors front and back are pretty much the same. Okay. Now, some of these shapes here might not make much sense until we upgrade the vessel so why don't we go ahead and hit upon some of the upgrades and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly clear this out okay so we need capital vessel we need the tier 2 upgrade, tier 3 extenders. We want the shield. We're going to go with the T2, even though in survival you're going to probably have to do the T1 first and upgrade it to T2. Uh, we're going to grab a couple cargo boxes. Um, let's see, what else do I need? I want the repair bay, tier 2, repair console. I have the uh, turrets. Uh, let's see, what am I missing? What am I missing? I have the advanced constructor. <coughs> okay. So. Um, okay. So, let's see. I think. Now, I'm going to go do the. CPU upgrades first. Although in creative, it's not going to complain uh, and not call me out on having the necessary CPU before I potentially uh, overlay the system and drop this thing down to zero CPU efficiency. But we're going to go and treat it very similar to how you're probably going to. You know, stuff. Granted, I get away with not using the multi tool for. I'm going to go out here in the hallway. When I tried doing this earlier, the hallway was a great place to test the orientation of my tier two. There we go. Or tier three, I should say. Tier three modules are now in place. So we are ready to complete all the way up to tier three on this thing. Okay, I'm gonna put the repair console there. Oh, advanced constructor, well, while I'm here, let's not forget the advanced constructor. The advanced constructor, let's flip that thing upside down on the ceiling. Oh, come on. There we go. And then we have oh yes let's go let's do let's catch some of these upgrades in the uh, back in the engineering 
So, oh, oh, no, I know what I forgot. I forgot the generators and fuel tanks. Okay. So, that's what I forgot. We need a couple of tier one generators. Once we throw the shield on here and some of the thruster upgrades, that single generator is not going to cut it anymore. Now, if I was in survival, since that is a nice roasty toasty area, especially with the generator right there, uh, I would probably be stand back in this room here, spawn my drone, and go with the drone. But since I am in creative, we will we'll skip that part. But we will still do the upgrade here. Uh, fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank. Where is the fuel tank? Why don't I just start typing that and it will help me out there since I seem to be getting a little lost. Okay, generator. I'm going to put one there. One back here. Our fuel tank. One there, one over there. Now, if I want to still be able to get, you know, I could place the shield right here, but I want to be able to ensure that I can still walk around here fairly easily. I'm going to flip it upside down so that the small part of the shield is down, making it a little easier for me to get around in here, should I so desire. Okay, even though that area is dangerous and roasty toasty. Okay. And to go with the repairs council, here's our repair bay. Okay, and uh, let's see, I want to say I picked this here. I know it's not much storage for this thing uh, stuff. And so why am I doing the advanced constructor? Well, the advanced constructor, uh, a small constructor can produce, uh, can refine pentaxid for your, uh, to, you know, to, to resupply you for warp uh, and stuff, but it doesn't uh, do the fusion cell, and I really kind of like the fusion cell, so when, I, when and where I can, I kind of prefer to use a fusion cell, uh, this stuff, so that, you know, advanced constructor can produce that. Uh, so even though there's not much storage on it. Now let me uh, clarify before I get carried away on some of the few, uh, additional upgrades on this here uh, on the outside, which is going to be thrusters and weapons uh, on the outside, that uh, the reason this this vessel has enough lift that if you're if you're transporting stuff that doesn't have much cargo themselves, you can extend the cargo here. Um, stuff. Yeah, I only did the truss blocks there, and you know there, but you can probably let's uh, you know let's say all that and the matching on the other side. All that could easily be converted to cargo, and still, this thing will probably you know should have no problem lifting it at all even in 2.0 uh, gravity uh, and stuff. And if you're only st uh, worried about 1.0 gravity, probably even more of the wall around the uh, O2 tanks can be converted. I'm not sure about these lower levels. They might uh, get into some of the other shape of blocks. Um, but up above, uh, yeah, as you can see, the lower level, these are the slant blocks. But the ones behind, uh, above there, should all be full cubes. Um, so, <clears throat> except for the, be careful, the, uh, do not convert this, uh, here, uh, that is your ventilator for the main chain, uh, area, it does not, uh, the elevators are airtight, uh, so it's not going to leak into the main area from there. So you, that is your, that on that side is your ventilator to the. Uh, central cavity. Okay, so if I go here, engage the jump jet, which in creative will allow me to just hover here. 
I know in survival I'd probably be using the drone to place the turrets. Okay, we have two turrets here. And these basic four uh, turrets would be what I consider a basic defense. Um, no stop. Really to just kind of defend against drones and the like. Um, now I would probably place these turrets on the side uh, this way, but oh, I'm going to point them down to really kind of bring emphasis to the arrangement, the staggered effect going on here for the side turrets. Uh, so it is conceivable that once you have shields on this thing, uh, stuff that you could use this to hover over a POI and as long as the POI has trouble shooting you with massive firepower that goes straight up you can uh, harass the POI at your leisure and where are my small jets and small thrusters and okay well let's uh, type start typing thruster M thruster S okay that's uh, uh, okay now the uh, this actually is designed for a lot more thrusters to be placed on it, and part of the reason I don't have much cargo space uh, beyond those uh, those small areas marked on it here is because some of my own blueprints are cargo vessels, uh, some SVs that actually I tested out they can fit in that cavity, um, and uh, uh, let's see I think I figured out that I could add somewhere around the order of almost 320,000 SU in storage between the vessels I could fit in there. So 300 and yeah, 320,000 SU storage that I could fit in that bay. So I kind of use that as a reference uh, based on the idea that uh, these have to be small thrusters at the front with enough space that it actually could be a medium thruster there at the front. Okay. This here on the side though, these are small thrusters. Granted, there's a small thruster. Oh. Small thruster on that side, but not on this side. Hmm. I'll have to reevaluate things at some point. This that might get a small change from the uh, video. I might there might be some correction that might end up being a uh, might be end up being a medium thruster left on the other side, depending on what uh, tier one CPU looks like, um, which would simplify. But the thing is, there's small thruster in the front there. If I was in survival grab the small thruster, stick it on one of the sides, put a medium thruster on the, in its place. <coughs> but that probably means that I just didn't, uh, I probably at one point when I was messing around with this, I probably thought I had symmetry turned on. I didn't, and in my efforts I didn't catch that. So like as I said, there might be, as you can see, this side it is a small thruster. So, depending on where, uh, I'll have to go back and evaluate. If the CPU allows it uh, for tier one, I might up to update that to a medium thruster, and so that the, that would uh, uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't be replacing the small thruster, or it could be that I may decide that I uh, just leave it as is. One side a small thruster, and one side a medium. Okay, so I got the front, I got the back. All, th all the thrusters on the sides, the sides, all uh, up, down. Uh, multi tool might be helpful to uh, reevaluate. That's an M thruster, that's an M thruster, so I've replaced both of those. 
on a previous sweep I discovered I'd only put an M thruster on one side. Those have both been switched to S thrusters, uh, unless I'm mistaken, again. Okay, so I'm hoping I won't find any more, uh, not many more uh, uh, oversights, but it's always possible. Okay, so that should be, oh, I missed these three thrusters here. Yep, here we go. Come on. Okay. Because the elevator is planned to be over there. So, but, uh, as I was looking at that here, it does bring to my attention that I wonder if that uh, window gets a little roasty toasty there. Yeah, I'm going to have to redesign that. That might just, uh, I don't think that's going to get uh, blocked off. Well, f fellows, that means uh, there's going to be a slight change to the appearance of this vessel, uh, which I'll have to evaluate that at Tier 1. I want to say that there was uh, plenty of margin on Tier 1 uh, last I was messing around with it. Uh, so... It's probably not going to be a problem with this CPU at all. It would mean that this would get extended over here. It also mean that the potential uh, solid cube blocks that you could convert to cargo if you so desire um, will be uh, slightly different. But that is, I don't like having spots that are rusty toasty here. And I forgot that this gets so close to that thruster there. Uh, but I don't want to give up that thruster because my calculations on this being able to lift those uh, cargo vessels that can fit in here completely full of cargo depends on that thruster uh, the, that pair of thrusters there so I'm going to I'm going to be making a change to it uh, so yeah, but so it there will be a slight change of the vessel and probably over the uh, time as I find other oversights other glitches or you know, development glitches and not necessarily game glitches uh, stuff. As I find uh, other uh, oversights in my uh, design of this, uh, they, uh, uh, I will make corrections. I'm like, yeah, but I, I did place the elevator far enough away, but I forgot that that right down there, you can get roasted toasted right there too, even though the elevator is far enough away to be safe. Yep, I make mistakes. Okay, well, I will be fixing that shortly here, and. But the thing is, the upgrade, uh, the upgrades you just saw here, I uh, I don't anticipate any changes to that. So that part of this will be consistent and hold true. So uh, you know, other than uh, a some slight a ch a change down here in the uh, uh, the lower section uh, from the tour, I don't uh, I don't see there's going to be a whole lot of difference uh, at this time. Enjoy.